Hello, new wave of British Heavy Metal.com here. Today is the 18th of April 2021. If I can make the usual opening request for a favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that would be marvellous and appreciated. Thank you. Okie dokie. Today we'll take a look at the Jethro Tull uh, 40th anniversary um, superb remastered expanded and everything else uh, edition of their classic album A from all the way back in 1980. Uh, this is called the Alamode edition. <laughs> Get it right, A, Alamode, uh, whatever. Anyway, 40 years since this album came out. Um, hard to believe, isn't it? I can still remember buying it when it, when it did come out. And here we are 40 years later. What we have here in this quite superb package is the original album given the Stephen Wilson treatment there are some extra tracks as well there are two CDs with a show from the LA Sports Arena concert which the band did on, on the, the, the A tour back in 1980 we've got a DVD with various other remixes and, and whatnot going on and a remixed version of the Slipstream DVD which includes a number of live performance and, and um, like um, promotional video stuff as well. And if that's not enough, all that, it's all superbly packaged in an A5 sized hardback book format. And talking of books, there's a 104 page, yes, a 104 page book here as well which includes all sorts of features, articles, interviews, lyrics, and, and all sorts of stuff. What a package. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. But to the album itself, uh, A was something of a, uh, I guess you could call it a transitional album for, for Tull back at the time. The preceding album, of course, Marvellous Stormwatch, was one of the last of those folksy, progressive style um um, albums which which kind of defined Tull and their sound and then along came A with um, a bit more of a straightforward approach and expanding out into the use of quite a lot of electronica which was you know coming in at the time there were a fair amount of lineup changes from between Stormwatch and A as well in came Mark Craney on the drum stool what a drummer he was Eddie Jobson as a special guest I think he was billed on keyboards and electric violin and it was Dave Pegg's first um, studio recording after he played bass on the Stormwatch tour he, he stayed in the band for for A. As I recall it was intended as an Ian, Ian Anderson solo album though, well, though it was issued under the, the Jethro Tull name um, and the, the change in style on, on a did divide opinion at the time probably still does with, with some Tull fans but in my opinion it, yes it's that little bit different and you might not have been expecting it but it's a fine album does take a bit of getting used to particularly some of the songs on what on, on the second you know the, the, the side two of the album when it when it was vinyl and but it, it stood the test of time well still sounds great today I mean Crossfire great opener punchy catchy rocker dealing with that um, famous uh, SAS uh, ending of the Iranian embassy siege standoff Filingdale Flyer as, as uh, all, all the classic Tull hallmarks and it's beefed up a bit by some outstanding drumming from Craney I mean what a drummer he was and the, the always excellent Martin Barr on guitar the, the, the man is such an underrated player uh, he, he's off the charts for me I think he's top top player and uh, the, the lyrics to Filingdale Flyer being a, a, a based on another famous incident, this time from, from the Cold War when, when a, 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 a glitch almost set off World War Three. Working John, Working Joe goes back to that familiar semi-acoustic folksy style and, and uh, deals with the upside and, and downside of hard work, I suppose we can put it. And Black Sunday... Tall classic, majestic, fast-paced rocker, which, which uh, the, the midsection is particularly good with uh, Martin Barr's solo and some more phenomenal drumming from Craney. Then we, we get on to the electronic stuff, uh, where that came more to the fore. Protect and Survive, I mean, Ian's in slightly playful mood with his lyrics here. 
poking fun at the old government advice about what to do in the event of a nuclear attack. There was a pamphlet that came out back in the 60s, Protect and Survive. And uh, if, if the missiles are raining down, basically what they told you to do was hide under a desk and hope for the best. Um, batteries not included, uniform, four-wheel drive, uh, or a nice trio of um, shortest shongs, which um, bring that electronic stuff more to the fore, and particularly Eddie Jobson's electronic violin in, in places as well. And Ian's still in playful mood with his lyrics, looking at the frustrations of getting gifts which require batteries. But of course, the batteries never came with the gift. And we, if, if you were around back in like the 70s, 80s, you'd, you'd remember that all too well. You know, Christmas presents or birthday presents or whatnot were the batteries. Well, they're not included. And, um, you know, four wheel, F, F four wheel drives about, you know, the, the, the questionable delights of a four wheel drive car. Anywho, then we, we, we get back to more traditional tool stuff with Pine Martin's Jigs, one of those wonderful jaunty folksy instrumentals, and then Anne further on closes it out with a, a, a brooding atmospheric song. Um, so that, that's the album. So it is, there are some extra tracks on it. We've got an, an extended version of Crossfire, uh, a different take on Working John, Working Joe, an early version of Cheerio, if you remember that, and then um, a, an unreleased song and the Slipstream introduction. So great stuff there. Then we get onto the live discs from that uh, show from LA in 1980. Brilliant. What a performance. Fine, fine set list. The Slipstream DVD is also a great watch with, with the, the mixture of live performances and, and promotional videos. And I say, if that's not enough, You've got it all wrapped up in a hardback book form with those 104 pages to plough through. And it's a great read, great purchase, great package. You just can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with it. If you're an old Tull ton fan like me, you need this. You do need it. Um, I will put, as always, a link in the description underneath the video to the, uh, the, the album on Amazon. So you can check that out if you would like to, and you really must, it's essential for any Tull fan. All, all these box sets are great, and I think there are some more to come. So check it out, say so link below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that would be excellent. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and take care.